current state of affairs in the world has created a sense of anxiety for preppers. Recent events both here at home as well as on the global stage are all contributing factors to a general sense of uneasiness. Recently, I reached out to a variety of leaders in the Canadian preparedness community for their thoughts. I had just one question for them, and although I didn't want to make it too simplistic, it turned out to be more of a loaded question than perhaps I had anticipated. In this video series, I share their thoughts on the subject. I reached out to a wide variety of preparedness leaders, a YouTuber, a podcast, a Facebook group, a meetup organizer, and a preparedness online retailer. Here is the question they were asked. Humanity is experiencing instability on a global scale. War in Europe with the threat of nuclear conflict, record-breaking inflation, a growing food crisis, and political discourse here at home are all contributing factors. In your opinion, how will the global situation unfold in the near future, and how can preppers best protect themselves? Today, we'll hear the response from Bryden Solutions. It's important to note that although I've described Bryden as an online retailer, they do have a publicly open storefront located in Calgary, Alberta. Here's owner Dwight responding to the question in his own words. The background you gave was that humanity is experiencing instability on a global scale, war in Europe with the threat of a nuclear conflict, record-breaking record inflation, a growing food crisis, and political discourse here at home are all contributing factors. In your opinion, how will the global situation unfold in the near future, and how could preppers best protect themselves? This question is one that I ponder every day. As a father of four, I want what's best for my family, for my country, and for our world. As an owner of an emergency food company, for good or for bad, I get to see warning signs when they're still in the distance. For example, when the velocity of price increase notices coming into my inbox causes me to take a deep breath at my desk, yes, it can be concerning. We live in daunting times for sure. But that's the result of globalization and technological advancements. 200 years ago, if a war broke out, it was highly localized, and other regions wouldn't even know about it or hear about it until much later. Today, we have a continuous information loop that's open to us, and that alerts us to everything that's happening everywhere, all around the world, all the time. So with all the variables in play right now, I can't see that the tension level is somehow going to suddenly drop off. There are a lot of issues that the pandemic, and now the war, have created. These issues are going to take years of recovery, or adjustment. What is our best form of protection then? I'll refer to a conversation I had with a customer in our store not long ago. This was your normal, next door neighbor type of customer, a parent just trying to prepare and take care of their family. They asked me, how do I know when it's enough? Referring to the pile of food stores that they were picking up that day. I replied and told them that their heart would let them know. That when they felt peace of mind, knowing that they had done what they could, that that was enough. I feel we all need to be reasonable in our preparations. Yes, I'd love to go out and buy a fully loaded bug-out jeep to have on hand, but for me that's not reasonable, and likely wouldn't even be safe, because I wouldn't know how to use all those little gadgets when something hit the fan anyways. So let's divide and conquer. For physical protection, set a budget and stick to it. A budget of both time and finances. Do what you can, but don't go overboard. Don't go into debt to buy gear or food, especially right now with interest rates being a wild card. If you can set aside a certain portion of your paycheck monthly, and you have to wait a few months for that to build up before you can go and buy things, that, to me, is wisdom. Dig into items and skills that you take a personal interest in. There's no sense in buying a course or supplies if you can't ever see yourself living that life. Life of a butcher, a homesteader, or someone who raises animals in their backyard. 
Do you have a green thumb? Dig into gardening or sprouting. Should those bigger hit the fan scenarios come into play, we can't all be medics, security guards, vets, and carpenters. It takes a community of people to get through life in both good and bad scenarios. Keep in mind that you don't need to be an expert in everything. Just do you and keep it balanced. Now the mental side is just as important. All the freeze-dried food in the world isn't going to help you if you're frozen in fear on your couch watching the news 24-7. For me, I'm learning that enjoying the good moments of daily life is a powerful offset to the worries and concerns that seem to constantly come. When life gives you a sunny day with some good people around you to smile with, take that moment as a blessing and let the peace sink in. Stress is a destroyer, just as much as bullets or bombs. Make your preparations as best you can with the resources you have, and then live your life. Plant your cherry tree was some good advice I was once given. We are never going to be able to prepare for every scenario and every variable, but we can do our best and feel good about that. Here at Bride and Solutions, our motto is peace of mind comes from being prepared. To me, having that combination of physical and mental preparation, that is my protection. Knowing that I have done what I can with the resources I have, then I can look at any scenario straight on and know that whatever the result is, it will truly be okay.